The state of New Jersey is paying a $400,000 settlement to a former state trooper. He claimed that he was being harassed by a secret group of rogue officers known as the Lords of Discipline. New Jersey correspondent Norm Yashanik has more. In his lawsuit, former trooper Justin Hobson claimed that after he refused to back up other troopers' version of what he thought was an improper arrest in 2002, he became the target of a loosely organized secret group in the state police known as the Lords of Discipline. We spoke with Hobson by phone from South Carolina. I was victimized through physical assaults. My car was vandalized and uh, threatening notes were left around the state police barracks. Now the state has announced that it will pay Hobson, who is no longer a trooper, a $400,000 settlement. The state doesn't engage in uh, substantial settlements uh, unless they know that they have a problem. Hobson was one of several troopers to file suit saying they were victimized by the Lords of Discipline, which has targeted women, minorities, and those they felt didn't cut it. Another was Trooper John Oliva of Absecon, seen here in front of a harassing note the group left for him. Oliva committed suicide in 2003, and his case is still pending. State police declined comment, and a spokesman for the Attorney General's office would only say that the Hobson settlement was fair and reasonable. In 2005, state police reprimanded or suspended seven troopers for harassing colleagues, but an investigation by the AG's office concluded the Lords of Discipline, or LOD, does not exist, a matter Hobson and his lawyer dispute. The Lords of Discipline are uh, alive and well in the state police. They are underground now. I, given the history of the state police uh, and the long life of the LOD, I suspect that they will pop up uh, sometime within the next couple of years to harass others. I'm Nora Mushanik, Channel 6 Action News.